Okay guys, welcome back to some more Let's Play Minecraft. A bit of changes in between last episode and this episode. I want to fly around and show it off. I removed, I removed all the teleport pipes and just connected them manually. Like this. <coughs> so they're all connected up. Just because I was getting a few bugs with teleport pipes, so I just figured I'd do this and everything would be fine and everything was fine. The only thing I'm using teleport pipes for is just to collect all the items and put them all in one chest. Yes, that is there. And also, I also went down into my basement here and added two more, two more um, biogas engines. I could even add a few more if I wanted to, but I don't. I don't think I need any more. I think I could add like three more, but I'm not going to, just because I don't I don't want to. Yep. And I also connected this manually to that. Oh, and sandpipes don't connect to interfaces, that's why that's there. Okay, why don't we try this out here? Why don't I go into here and get three pieces of dark matter and burn the rest? No lock, and get a few pieces of Eternalist fuel. And now, if I do this with dark matter, that'll get me a piece of red matter. Let's just teach that to our transmutation table. And why don't I also burn all that back up? Let's get some obsidian now by doing this. What was it? Buckets. Then buckets to pumpkins. And that gets me obsidian. There we go. Now let's break off this collector mark 2, or this uh, relay mark 2. And if we craft up in this inventory here, like this, that gets us a relay mark 3. And let's make sure we know that. And this is the top tier relay. So if we place it right here, it'll it you can see it has a bigger inventory and um it can store more EMC and it also gives a bigger bonus to these. Cause these guys here, they will also do they will get a bonus from being adjacent to a collector or um a relay. So if we break this guy off, burn this back up, can I get some more Red matter, if I burn this. Okay, I guess not. Let's go over here. And get like half a stack of diamonds. Just because we can, and we like miscraft. Mining so much, it's so useful. Burn it. And now this should be enough to get us oh, well over. There we go. And now if we just get some glowstone by burning energy here, get some glowstone. Let's do this. It gets us the collector mark three. And this guy also this this also produces EMC quicker than Mark II. Also has a bigger inventory. And yeah, there, there you have it. So I'm gonna burn all that back up. This is that enough for um? Nope. So I might as well just wait. So plants are dry. Plants cluster is dry. Okay. So this will generate EMC a lot quicker than before. Might as well leave that guy in there for now. It's pretty empty. So let's see, what, what might we want to do here? How about we let's see when I make a room out here and I'll be right back. Oh, I seem to have found a minor cave, but it's okay, I still have this room left. I actually think I'm quite finished with this oh yeah, I took that oh god no. I'm suffocating after that. But marble actually has an EMC value. So that's nice, I can teach that thing to my trans table. Let's break that. 
that here, and I think that'll actually be good for this little small room I'm going to make. Ooh, slight problem here. I actually don't have EMC, so I can't I can't do that. Which means I'm gonna have to like find some coal or something out here. Which I'm sure is possible. I'm sure I can just quickly find some coal. Okay, so I just got myself twenty two coal. I think this was the way. So now I should be able to go back up there and get stuff. Okay, there we go. Now all I need is a feather. Actually, why don't I get some stuff while we are back? So I just want to make a few glass bottles. Okay, now if I did this, I think this is the right order. If I do this, this should get me a cassentum. And I love how it has a research value, so you can research a research table, basically. But anyway. Let's take this here and let's put it down right there. I'll take just these two pieces of gravel for now. It's okay. And there we go. That sh um, uh, it'll be covered soon anyway, so it doesn't matter. But now what I need to do is get some books. I could get myself some paper. Be nice. Yeah, just do this. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to make a few bookshelves, like so. And by the way, this this block here is part. Wait, what? Oh, is it like this? What? How do I? Oh, yeah, there it is. Bookshelf. Um, that block is part of Thalmcraft. I can use it to research different objects in order to get different Thalmic items. I like that word, Thalmic. It's a nice word. I'm going to take this out, target it, and get a few bookshelves. 64 should do. Take this guy out, okay. And now, if we just go down here and place bookshelves in like so, not like that. I'm about to get three books back. You lose the wood, yeah, that's, that's real nice. Uh, this is how... Um, you actually boost your chances of um, research. You place bookshelves all around, kind of like, kind of like um, an enchanter, except cooler because you can get stuff. But you can get better stuff from it. Okay, and if I were to turn on the effect. Yeah, you'll see that you actually get those little particle effects coming in here. And why don't we set a research value of... Okay, it has a research value of 8. But we need some paper so we can get a discovery from it. And as you can see, it's just going to start researching away at these. And I'll be back soon. It might actually get something, but I want to get like a good stack of paper. I just got myself 28 paper, it should do. Oh, and as you can see, we got fragments of lost knowledge. You can use these to either make a thalmonomicon, or you can research them again and get certain discoveries. And you can also put these bookshelves in here. It'll actually boost the research value that you get from night. We already got a Theory Thumic Restorer and the Charm of Life. Let's put this in here. And what this will do is, since it's a theory, it, it needs to be like successed five times in a row. Or not in a row, five times in total before you can uh, do anything. It kind of sucks, actually, but you just have to wait for this bar to go all the way up. And then you get your uh, Thomic Restorer discovery. And this is what the finished product looks like, Thomic Restorer. And what you have to do is just this. And then now it'll say, oh, now you've learned how to make the Thomic Restorer. You can now make it. Let's go back into here. 
And let's just let those research away again. Okay, so if we just take this, try that, oh nope. Well, if we just leave this guy in there, eventually it has to go somewhere. Either that, or if it hits the failure percentage too many times, you'll actually lose your theory, which kind of sucks. Oh, and I also added a logic system to this. So if it has work, then it'll turn on the pipe. And if there's space in the tank, then it'll activate that pipe. And same thing here. If there's space in this tank, it'll activate this pipe. And so on and so forth. Downstairs, I just left levers on the biogas engines, because biogas engines can't explode no matter what. Now, I might actually want to upgrade this chest into a diamond chest, so if we look up diamond, just say gold to diamond. Just need a two diamonds, some glass, and a gold ingot. Okay, so here we go. Should be enough. Yep, definitely enough. And there we go. Gold to diamond chest upgrade. Of course, there's no such thing as a. Um, <clears throat> it'd be kind of funny because based on how how this is made, if this were silver or like if this were if this were a diamond and these two were silver, it'd actually make glass fiber cables. Now uh, let's put these one here and one here. And as you can see, they make the thing a lot bigger. So there's a lot more room in here for more stuff, but I'm not really going to put much more stuff in there. That's just in case, you know. I might want to turn all these chests into... Actually, I could turn all these chests into gold chests. I'm going to get some of this. Okay, let's just do this for now. Iron to gold chest upgrade. Let's just go by and make all of these golden chests. Just because I can. Go and get some more. One here and one here. And why not another one here? And that's good for now. I don't I don't really care. Actually I could it's just two more, so Okay, and there we go. And that's that. Oh, and something else you can also do with the Q block or with the Cassentum, whatever you want to call it. I can't reach that chest anymore, can I? Dang it. That was a nice chest. Here we go, I'll just do this. Uh, you can get a few stacks of cobble. And I get a few. And let's place this provider pipe back with our wrench. Out. Okay, and with these stacks of cobble, you can do this. with the cube lock. If you just put a few stacks of cobble in like that, you have a 3% chance of success, a 0% chance of failure, but 75% um, loss chance, but you have 63 3% chances. So if you do the math, that's like 150 something. In all reality though, it's like 180 something, but who cares? So you have to get some success out of that eventually. Okay, and here's something else. I also want another room. I want for this room to go here. And this will be the main room that all my all that all the stuff for Thumbcraft is. So when I make this room and I'll be right back. Oh and also it smelts items a lot faster than the collector mark two. If we throw a lapis in here, that should get us Yep, this, this stuff, just set that as the uh, current priority here. Go. Now if we throw this in here, we should get a few more options there. We should only get gates. Alright, let's make a few of these guys. You should only be able to make two in theory. Actually, in actuality, we're only able to make two. So let's just alternate in between these two. In between these. Yeah. Well, this is that room. And it's kind of dark in here and it's kind of bland, but I think I can change that. So let's go into here and get a diamond. 
And let's also go back out here. And I did teach this thing brick. So I should be able to do that. I need some red matter though. Okay, so I'm pretty sure if I just burn half a stack of diamond with what I have in here, that should be enough to get me a piece of red matter. And then after that, 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 and now it should be able to give me brick. Go brick. And we just need a handful of brick. I think we just need five. C. And we want to make what we want to make is called the mercurial eye. We need some obsidian. Okay, I know I need something. Let's try this, and then this bucket of lava. Test in pumpkin. There we go. We just need two obsidian, so we should be fine. Two. And there we go. And yeah. Let's put this guy in here. Charge him back up just a little bit. And now let's get our thing. This. And that gets us the mercurial eye. And if we, we can open this guy up with uh, this. And we have to put a Klein star in this input, in that little slot there. So let's open it. And then you put a target block in there. And let's go down here and see what this guy is actually capable of. If we hit G, we can see a handful of different modes, extension, creation, transmutation. We want to go with transmutation. And if we charge it up, a few different charge levels. Let's just do this. And we have sort of like an aquarium kind of thing, but uh, it's not really uh, that kind of feel. So let's do that, and there we go. That's our little sort of uh, aquarium there. It's not exactly that. It's more like an underwater house, but I'm going to have to go outside and smoothen those edges out. Also, ores don't have EMC value, so it can't really transmute those. But yeah, also I'll have to go over there and do that, but also, how am I going to breathe underwater, you ask? Am I going to be able to do that? I probably won't be, which is why I need another thing from Equivalent Exchange. Which will require a handful of diamonds again, which I'll probably need a bit more. You know, one day I'm actually going to run out of diamonds. Oh, why why can't I sort? Oh, there you go. You let me sort then. Oh, and it's it's really easy to actually misplace your Klein star in there. You'll just put it in there, and you'll just forget that it's there. So I just burned that up and got a few pieces of that. Let's do this. Under and let's get three pe three water buckets. And we need six dark matter, don't we? Dang. No, we don't. We we actually just need six water buckets. So let's target this again. One, two, three. There we go. And now we should be able to make this. Like this. And now if we do this, that gets us the Evertide Amulet. And with this Evertide Amulet, we can breathe underwater as well as create our own blocks as well as create our own blocks of water for virtually no cost like so well, why don't I just go outside and do stuff we can make water source blocks that and we can breathe underwater we were to go underwater, would show you that we can, in fact, breathe underwater. Need to look for that place that I was just at, though. Oh yes, right here. So let's get our dark matter pickaxe, and plus this has to be on your hotbar for it to work right. 
we get this, we should be able to just do that. No one should break with relative ease. For some reason, my screen's flick ran out on me, but I don't know why. This. I'm going to clean this up and be right back. Remember when I said marble had an EMC value? Well, I was not kidding. It does. And I tell you what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to get a bit of marble. I'm going to get five pieces because I'm going to need five. I do this. I can get myself some marble brick. Teach marble brick to it as well. Let's just burn the rest of that up. Don't need it because we have our mercurial eye. Let's see, get this out of there. Let's put this in here and put our cline in there. And why don't we make the walls marble brick? So wrong with marble brick walls? Nothing. Nothing is wrong with marble brick walls at all. Why don't I fill that in with some cobble? And then why don't I make that also marble brick? And why don't I make the floors out of just regular marble? I think, I think that'd be nice. Don't you? Yeah, that looks pretty good. I, I can dig that. But as you can see, that also does that to this room. So why don't I use marble brick here and just make marble brick walls everywhere again. And by everywhere, I mean everywhere. Go. Okay, and I really like the look this thing has to offer. So there you go. Why don't I also do that to this inside part here? Oh, wait. My client starts in there, so I can't. But, um, yeah. Oh, dang it. Okay, let's just do this then. Do I have a Okay. Let's do that. And there we go. Now that look is completely finished, and there we go. That's our little, like, water veil there, kind of. Let's fix this, too. Oh, and that. Now let's see if that created any problems. Nope, it seemed to have not. And this will be our little, uh, thom room, kind of. I'll have a few tanks to hold, uh, vis and taint and whatnot. A few infusers and restorers and stuff. But let's see how this did. We get anything? We got one fragment of lost knowledge. How about it? Test it out. What did we get? Potency enchantment, huh? It's pretty hard, apparently. Oh, and we did end up losing our um, our um, other thing that we had. Get that. Why don't I get a few? Get out of here first. Why don't I get myself a few more bookshelves, maybe, and and uh, maybe I'll uh, research those bookshelves. Then I'll be back. I just got myself three stacks of bookcases. I'm gonna oh wait for this thing to free up. In the meantime of that though, I am gonna place a teleport pipe here somewhere, maybe even right there. Why don't I make it nine and just make it thumb base. There we go, add. Get another teleport pipe from here. Then go down again. Let's go into this wall right here. One, two, there we go. And why don't I also do this? Mm, dang it. Okay, can still do that. Then that? Yeah, that works great. Just to cover that bit up there. I might do this instead. Just cause and now let me open this and 
put it into thumb base, thumb base, and then get basic logistics pipe out. And now I should have access to the whole system. But I tell you what, I didn't set it to can receive true on both ends. Okay, so now I just quickly did that. Oh, and we finally got our discovery potency enchantment. This enchantment enhances the effects of certain magical items like wands. Okay, that's nice. Uh, now what we can do, why don't I just take one of these bookcases after I do this. Just drop all those in there and I'll come back for them later. Why don't I break this off. Just get a few books and I think if I do this, I can get myself a Thaumonomicon. Do I need four discoveries for that? I think I might. Yep, I need four discoveries for that. Okay. For some reason I thought I only needed two, but I guess I need four. I already have a few of these, so I might as well research these. Not happening? I'll put those in there to boost the chance. There we go. Charm of Life. Why don't I get it? So I'll just leave that to it for now, and why don't I use this here to get myself a bit of iron. I think I'll need six or so. I need nine pieces of cobble. And why don't I also get myself one of these crystals here? Now let's craft some stuff up. I think I'll actually need an extra piece of iron though. Should send me that fairly quickly. There we go. Okay, and now let's get ourselves a cauldron and a furnace. Now if we take the furnace, put the cauldron on top, then with the earthen crystal there, we get a crucible. And we can make a few things with this crucible. We have to discover that first. I'm going to do that. Place that there. And what this will do is it will create this and whatnot. We also can transport those into tanks, into V storage tanks made like so. And you can use them like kind of like a pipe system with um conduits. These conduits. So I want to get a few pieces of glass and stuff and be right back. Now why don't I request eleven or so pieces of redstone? I'm just get ready. This should be able to do this here. Oh wait, like this. There we go. Then like this here. Making some of these conduits like that. There we go. Oh, I screwed this up, didn't I? And there we go. These conduits. It gets us two sets. Oh no, we I was just about to say, like we only got two sets out of that. Uh why don't I also make some these valves, is it? No, that's not what I want. I just want a, a one tank here. And I can get that tank, but first I need the stuff for an infuser. Okay, and now we do this here, but first let's do this. Let's make a few of these. If we do this, and then have iron on the sides here, this on the bottom, and a crystal, like it's this arthomic infuser. And with this, it's kind of like the crafting table, but of the thomverse. Uh, if, if you can call it that. And why don't I do this here for now? And you'll see that if you drop items in here, well, not that kind of item though, but if you drop items in here, you'll actually get uh, some vis from that, vis and taint. And you can use this here to make certain things. Like if I were to do this, get a few of these, and get a few pieces of wood. 
Okay, now I'm finally getting those items. Now if I were to put them in here, this actually makes something, so it would start to take the vis out of here and just leave that taint there. But if we have enough vis, why don't we get some by throwing some glass? This here and some redstone. I'm sure that'll make enough. We just need one for now. Okay, that'll get us the thalmic wood or the uh enchanted wood, and we can use this wood to do a number of things. For example, the storage tank. I'm gonna want to make one of those. Oh, I threw those panes in there, didn't I? Okay, and that this gets us the V storage tank. Pick up all this. I'm going to break this guy here and put this there. And it, this should actually take out all the taint and send it there. Uh, soon, actually, this is only a temporary setup. I'm going to rearrange this in the future. But for now, this should work fine. Throw a few more torches in there just to get this thing finished. There we go. And uh, this actually looks like a good time to clean this out. So this has been Double Shavang from Ultracrafters 2 signing off. Remind me to subscribe and comment telling us how we can make your viewing experience better. I will see you guys next time where we do some more with this. And uh, possibly some more with some other mods. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.